Yeah. Everyone makes it. Uh, you look up at the sky, uh, the clouds sort of shift where they want to shift, when they're going to shift, when they shift. And the sun comes out when it's going to come out. It comes out behind the clouds when it wants to. You know, and you see, there's there's many shifting facets and realities right now in life, you know. And uh, I don't know where I'm going right now. I'm starting to get dizzy, but look, what I'm trying to say, just remember, you know, like your life, the Father is in governance of that. The Father is in governance of that. He holds it in, your, in, in his hand. He loves you. He knit you together in your mother's womb. Grew up as a little one like this. Hello. You become an adult like everybody else around us. And you see, then we're, we're, we're sort of given the reins a little bit. We're given the reins of where we're going to shift, where we're going to move, where, what are we going to do? You know, like, but you see, that little one, there's her dad right there. He needs to protect her and show her and teach her how to solve certain areas, where to walk, where not to walk. Stop her from running across the road in her joy and getting hit by a car, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and God does that with us, even as adults. But you know, we also need to take a little bit of responsibility our opinions, our, you know, and there's a million opinions, mate, especially in that library, man. You know how many books are in that library? Trust me, there's so many books in that library on every opinion you could ever imagine. You would go crazy and you wouldn't know anything after reading them all. Because you wouldn't know what's right and what's wrong. Because there's, there's a... There's a billion opinions, mate. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's bullshit. What is the truth? What is the truth? Think about it. What is the truth? The truth is one plus one equals two. Some say it equals window. Some say all these other jargons about it. Come on, man. Like, so I've read all those books are there. You tell me, we have the truth after reading all those books? That you'd be so confused, you probably, I'm not even going to say it, because, uh, yeah, M.A., what I'm going to say, but what I'm trying to say, man, like, the truth is the truth. Like the sun, like the, like the moon, like the stars, they're there, yes. But they're only a reflection of what was and what is, you know, like, and, and that's something hard to fathom, you know. On the 20th of March, we're going to total eclipse of the sun, and how are you going to feel on that? How are you going to feel on the 20th of March, with the sun's out? On a beautiful, glorious day, and everything turns to night. How are you going to feel? And then we've got two more blood moons after that. And then how are you going to feel when you see those blood moons? And what are you going to be doing? Who are you going to speak, be speaking to? What are you going to be watching? What are you going to be reading? What are you, who are you going to be talking to? Barry Williams. Last Friday night. Yeah. You should be talking to your kids. You should be talking to and praying to God, and you should be loving your neighbours as you, as yourself. But loving yourselves too, not in vanity, but loving yourselves in humility. You know? like that's that's the two big differences, mate. Like, if you love yourself in vanity, mate, you're no good to anyone, really. No, I, and, and, and what are you going to do? Just make people feel bad about it themselves? What, what the fuck's that? What, what, what is that? Anyway, but, but when you love people in humility, humility, 
you love everybody and you feel all their pain and you feel their suffering of whatever they're walking through because you've been there, you've seen it, you've done it. Like, you've seen others walking through it, whatever. Like, How can anyone love everyone? They call us Yeah, well, you're going to have If you love everyone, then you love no one. Uh, you know, it's a type of shit, I know what you're saying, but to love everyone is to A, love yourself, and B, love anyone that you speculate yourself to love. You, know? you can never love your partner unless you love yourself. You can never love your brother or sister unless you love yourself. I agree with that, no doubt. Well, well, there's your answer, right there, mate. Well, yeah, there is it in a circle sometimes. Uh, but you can only mean something to somebody, no, one person, no, you and there's, there's inner circles of, 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 of you know, like, I've got a million associates, but I've got around about 15 friends that hang out with me, you know, and I hang out with them. They're my mates, you know, they're, like, they're the inner circle, but that inner circle penetrates, like, Every other circle that I've got, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Right. Whether it's family, or of course, everyone, everyone is love. And I want everyone to be part of the inner circle. But then, we, like, what we'd have to do is, what about Tasmania, so all of us can all hang out together, you know? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> you know, love, love, yeah, love, love is real. Love is, love is fact, man. You know what I'm saying? And loving everybody, like, that's, it, it's easy. You just look in the mirror, mate. You know? You just look in the mirror, you see everybody else, mate. You see everybody else, all the memories of those who you met, who you haven't, who you haven't met, even sometimes. You don't need to be smoking in front to have that revelation. But it happens, mate. It happens, you know? And the human race, man. Right. You know, there's not much more to it than that, you know. Right. So I can say it's great, certainly, that some people on this planet I do not have, I do not love. I totally respect where you come from. I, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you a story, okay? A friend of mine, he was 14 years old, and he, he joined a travelling horse show, you know, and travelled around Australia. And this lad joined up in a country town somewhere. And anyway, he joins up and he's given the caravan with this guy. And a few days later, he's sort of like uh, driving, driving with this young lad. And he's like, uh, I'm really going to sensitize a lot of this, but. Most adults with intellect should be able to pick it up, what I'm saying anyway. So anyway, he he said, he's driving there, he's like, he's going to do this, he's going to do that, you know. And he's sharpening a coat hanger on the road while he's driving, saying that he's going to whatever, you know. And they get there, and this young lad, He's praying to Jesus all the way there and gets away. Right? But years later, he gets away. Years later, like about four months after that, he just, he just left. But years later, um, after he's had epiphany and, and wake up call, so to speak, so he is working with drug addicts. So, and helping them come to God, you know? And he meets this guy, he's about 45, 46, whatever, brings him into the church, and bang, he's healed. And one night he's praying for him, and he goes, that's the guy who tried to do all that stuff to you when you were a kid. You know, when you are a teenager. And he's like, no way, no, it can't be, it can't be. Like, it wasn't part of this. So he fished for information the next day, yes it was. And when he 
he's like, you don't know who I am, man. I don't know what he, what he did to me. He's like, no, I don't give it. And, and, and then he's like, yeah, man, now yeah, I do. And he's like, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna do it even worse. You deserved it. Nah, no. satanic, man. You know? But you do need to understand that the devil is an evil motherfucker. Right. The devil is evil. Ah, uh, that's what I meant. Ah, uh, sorry, there was a research of this or something. But, you know, and we all need to be protected. Uh, and everyone's infected and affected, you know, and that's a fact. And God loves us. Jesus loves us. God loves us. The angels love us. What are we going to do? Honestly, it's our, it's our opinion. It's our choice. Right? He was beaten to oblivion, bled out like a dog, right? suffered on the cross for... And yes, he rose again. Hallelujah. But everyone thinks, oh, oh, it must be awesome up there right now in heaven when we're here walking around along on the earth. What a lot of crap. They're crying their eyes out for everyone that is going to that other place. I'm not saying that name for the little one. She doesn't know. Oh, trust me. Okay. And there's this little one. And all the little ones everywhere. Like, they don't even know the name. But that other place ain't heaven anyway. You as adults, you know what that other place is. You know what it is. Why well, speak about it in front of little ones? You know what I'm saying? No way. But you know where it is. You know what it's meant to look like. You, you've heard many metaphors and stories about what it is. And how dangerous it is. Like, once you're there, that's it. There's no coming back. Like, uh, like, come on. Like, you know. Why everything up properly? No. Jesus loves you. No. God loves you. All your brothers and sisters love you. Don't, don't let hate or darkness uh, overpower us or like, our nation anymore anyway. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no. We are a nation of love. Founded on the cross. Founded on Christian foundations. Founded on the blood of Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah, Cook came over and he did horrific things with his fleet towards the indigenous people. Of course it was fucking horrific. Like, there's no justification in that. I'm actually Aboriginal myself. And I've got Welsh and Jewish blood, big deal. I love my people, I love, but I love every race, you know, and you need to know this, you need to know, you know, like, it, unfortunately, it was like a, it, it sort of needed to happen to, to, a, to a level, you know, but, so we, we're sitting here now, so we can all send together as one, so we can all, you know, like, like the way things were done, we can all say, oh, that was wrong, how that was done. Especially when they dropped the bombs on Nagasaki and Hiroshima, right? Was that right or was it wrong? Of course it was fucking wrong, okay? Sorry for swearing. But, you see, things happen, like Cook and his ships, you know, Captain Cook and his ships, mate. It's the same shit. They, they, they were ancient atom bombs, mate. That's what they were. They were ancient atom bombs, mate. They came in and established this library. Like, we see the aftermath. We've got a library here. There's a shopping center over there. There's a university over there with this fucking weird looking green thing. And then there's apartments there. And there's the highest tower in the southern hemisphere just over there. There's a church over there where you know, 
half of them believe in Jesus. Oh, no, I think more than half of them do, but I saw, I saw their appearance for some of them, which is sad, but no, they need a spiritual awakening. They need the epiphany of the Holy Spirit. And I'll get it when it's in their time, you know, when it's, when it's right for them, you know. But what I'm trying to say is, you know, come on, you know, you look at all the shit that's happened in the last five years around the world, the last ten years. We need to be standing together as one, as brothers and sisters. We need to fucking respect each other. You know, we need to love each other, you know. And if you really, if, and you truly know God, you love anyone and everyone. Doesn't matter what they do to you. Like it's like, yeah, here, man. Whatever, whatever. No, that's alright. Whatever, whatever. Like, well, that's me anyway. You know, every, everything for me. Whatever. Everything I do, and everything for me that I do, is to try and respect everyone I know. And yeah, I fall short sometimes. No, but hopefully we're going to receive a bit of God's grace from somebody when we need it, you know, right, that's it.